Hey guys, today we're gonna to be finishing all this ditching for the Air Jordan 1 Grinch Edition. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Today we're gonna to be working on the Grinch Jordan 1s. As you can see, earlier we did all the stitching. We got it all ready. You got the red pig suede, you got the black suede. You got all this hair flying around from all the fur that we're messing with. But this is what we're working with today. This is the same um, leather as that, it's just inside out. And um, we got the toes already. As you can see, I punched all the holes out on this shoe. Some of the customs, you know, that I make, I don't do the holes. On this one, I will be doing the holes just because it's um, it's a pretty plain shoe. It's just all green with um, the fur on the inside. So I wanted to um, throw that in there. But this is what we're working with right now. I got to stitch the wings onto the um, the upper right here. We also got to start stitching the fur on the inside. For this one, I'm doing super thin padding just because um, the fur is so thick and um, fluffy already. So it almost adds like um, an extra padding, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna be doing that with um, thin padding. It's also gonna have just, you know, the, the thin padding for the tongue as well, because as I said just now, the, the fur adds an extra thickness. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. It's gonna be um, very interesting because I've never stitched fur before. I don't know, you know, if it's gonna get everywhere, if it's going to um, like get all messed up with the stitching. That's what we're gonna find out. I'm, um, and then when I, I finish it as well, I'll just cut it all to make it look nice and flush with, um, with hopefully the tongue will have its fur sticking out. So I would like the, the fur right up here to kind of be flush and go down but for the toe to like stick up so it kind of looks like a hairball, you know? Kind of gives that that Grinch feel. There's, there is hair everywhere from me cutting stuff. But that being said, I gotta finish the stitch right there as well. There's lots of stuff to do. I gotta throw all the insides out. There's gonna be lots of gluing in this one. So let's get started. So this is the fur. That's gonna be the liner. A little of that wave action. It's looking super cool. Um, I've never uh, dealt with this material before, so this is going to be super fun to play around with and um, get like the cool effects that I want to get with it. So let's just go right to the sewing machine and start stitching. So cutting all this material out, it's super messy. All this hair is just flying around, stuff like that. I mean, you could just, it just, it gets everywhere. But we got ourselves a Jordan. Now I gotta throw all the internals in and then um, finish up all the stitching, start gluing all together. So I'm gonna throw all the foam inside, glue that all in and then we'll get um, right back to the outside. So real quick, everyone that's waiting on the candy cane Jordans, we kind of got in a little roadblock as you can see. I melted the soles in the oven. Um, I tried to do a little um, something else, and as you can see, I don't think it went very well, but you know, hey, trial and error, you live, you learn. Um, now I know in the future, that's not gonna work. But as you can see, I melted the, th uh, the soles. They're all, um, they're all messed up. Who knows, I could probably, you know, do something with this. I'm not too sure. It's, um, it's pretty much all jacked up for the most part, but that's what's happening with the, um, the candy cane soles. So once the shoes come in, that I can take the soles off, then we'll get back to it. So thanks for waiting for that. It's just, you know, hey, I messed up. Oh, well, you live and you learn, but let's get right back to the Jordans. Okay, so now we got it all wrapped up, ready to go. The next step is to be stitching these wings onto the upper right here, onto the side, on each side. We just gotta stitch those bad boys on. So I'm gonna run a double stitch with the um, the lime green thread. As you can see, it's coming out pretty nice so far. We're starting to get those uh, those Grinch vibes. It's starting to look really nice. This hair is still flying all the way around. Gotta find a way, you know, to clean that up. But for right now, we're gonna stitch those on and then we're gonna clean up this stitching right here by sewing that on.
As you can see, it's all stitched up all around here. It's looking very nice. We gotta throw the wings on. From there, we're going to um, start messing around with the tongue. On the last video, we finished these. So um, I'm gonna put these on and then we'll start working on the tongue. I think I'm gonna go in a different approach so I could try to get all that fluffiness to go upwards. So we're gonna finish with this stitching and then get right to the tongue. So we're now all finished for this step. As you can see, they came out really cool. They're looking super nice right now. We got all that fur going on right there. We got all the fur inside. I wonder how um, hot the foot's gonna be. That's gonna be very interesting. But for right now, I mean, they look really cool. Very awesome. We're gonna be going with white and black soles. So I'm gonna get those real quick. So these are gonna be my donor soles. These are some laser blue low top Jordan ones, just black and white soles, very simple. Um, as you can see, they're brand new. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna use the black laces or if I have these red laces from another low top pair that I um, tore apart. But these are the soles that I'm gonna be using, you know, just simple black and white. I'm gonna do a, um, a white mid stitch as well. So these are the soles that are be going on top of these. So I mean, you know, kind of gives you that look. So it's gonna be white and black. I think it's gonna be very clean, very simple. We got the black going on right here with just a little red accent. I think the red might be um, really cool for laces. I could also go with white, it just all depends. But for right now, this is where we're, uh, what we're looking at. You know, we got all the holes in there. All that I gotta do is punch the holes all throughout there for the laces. That'll be on the next step for when we start lasting. Also, I just trimmed off all the bottom so there's not much hair hanging out. So it'll be a lot easier for lasting. But I mean, I'm pretty happy with how these have uh, come out, how they're turning out. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's just a little turnaround, little look around, but I mean, whoo, looking like fire. But I'll probably be doing this in the next day or two, just taking the soles off. That's gonna be very simple, very easy. Um, but for right now, this is where we're at. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. It really helps out my channel, helps me grow. Um, I want you to comment down below what color um, shoelaces that you'd like me to put on these. I'll, um, whatever the top comment is, so like like if you think the one color is um, better than the other. Um, whatever the top comment is while I'll um, upload the next video at the time, I'll pick those laces and I'll throw them in. So comment down what laces you think I should throw in on these bad boys. But thanks for checking out this video. If you're interested in make your own shoes, go check out my uh, my full on online course. It's down in the description as well as my website. I got all my customs there as well as all the tools and stuff that I use. But thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to go check out some other videos.